This is my hydro system that's one of the components for my electric. Uh, the other would be solar. So um, this is called Micro Hydro. A man named Don Harris has been making these systems for about 30 years. And uh, I mean, he makes the wheel uh, that's inside here. So high pressure that's created by water falling from a, a long distance up creates about 90 pounds of pressure, uh, which makes the wheel spin fast. More pressure, faster it spins. Um, they're also called a Pelton wheel. They've been around for over 100 years, but the old ones usually took large volumes of water and big wheels and were 110 volts. So what Don Harris did was he made a little wheel, five inches in diameter, and so you could get electricity from a small amount of water. My creek is about this big. And, uh, but since it falls a long ways down through the pipes, it creates enough pressure to spin this. So this uh, makes 12 volt electricity and goes down these wires and over to the house. And then the overflows go into the pond and eventually to the, to the creek. So there's the old systems had like pulleys and gears. So and you lost a lot of efficiency. This is direct right to the generator. So this is doing two things. It's pumping water that's being the water is being used elsewhere. It's not pumping water. It's, but it's fl water's flowing through it. Yes. Okay. And that water is being used further down the line and in addition to the water passing through here, it's generating electricity that is created here but stored in those batteries in the house. Yes, that we'll go see later. That's okay. it. Well, um, you know, we're outside at the wheel. Uh, you could see one set of uh, wires coming from the wheel. That's those two. And, uh, and then these other two wires are coming in from the solar cells, the photovoltaics. And they're both coming into this system. And then they actually, even though they're leading into there, they come first to the battery bank. And these are deep cycle batteries made for this purpose. They have bigger plates, so they last longer and they're made for cycling as opposed to a car battery, which generally always stays charged up. If everything's working right in a car, your battery's always charged. But these, uh, and these are actually always charged too because I have hydro, but people that have solar, you know, it's generally charge it up during the day and then it drains back down during the night. So they're, they're, they're made to take that kind of cycling. So then from the batteries, and that's hooked up to 12 volts, which is being produced um, at the wheel and from the solar panels. And uh, so then that 12 volts goes up into this circuit breaker these are all the circuits for the 12 volt lines that I have. I have a few. My refrigerator is 12 volt. Um, and I have a few lights in case something happened to the inverter that, um, that I, I wouldn't be in the dark if something, if the inverter broke. I'd still have some 12 volt circuits. Then the power goes into this. This is called an inverter. This takes 12 volt DC and turns it into 110 AC standard what the power companies give you so it's clean it's uh, really good electricity um, it's able to run electronic stuff runs a computer then these are all the 110 circuits and they go to just about every room in the house and um, and then so those circuits go out that pipe and the 12 volt circuits go out that pipe and what's your capacity? Talk about that. Well, basically, I have uh, probably 30 lights in the whole house. I never have them on all at the same time. You know, at, at the most, I've got five or six lights on. I run um, a grow light for when I'm starting my vegetables indoors, like we'll be doing that in a couple of days. Uh, it powers a computer. It powers a satellite dish that brings me the Internet because I'm so far off the grid here. And no phone lines, so um, 
It powers blenders, a, a toaster oven, um, fridge, a fridge. Uh, I like I said, I I'm running at twenty five percent of my potential. Now that's going to change when we plug in that grow light. The grow light isn't that big, but I pretty much have to turn the hydro system all the way up. And um, and it maxes it out. It takes a, a, a tremendous amount of power, which surprised me. And then there's also a heating mat, a propagation mat that I put underneath my plant. So the combination of bottom heat and top light um, makes things germinate, you know, within a few days. So yeah, I've got all the electricity I need. Um, you know, I. I I don't have enough to run an electric car. I've been pursuing that, and that takes it to another level um, to get five miles out my road. But you know that—that's a goal of mine to to have an electric vehicle that I can plug in here at night and drive to work during the day. So it's really cool. 